Levi Whitney here with Uphill Cinema. Today I wanted to talk about one major trick that you can do right now that will help your cinematography and your filmmaking. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate it a ton. And turn on the notification bell. That will get you the videos quicker. And also don't forget about the film and music conference that Musicbed is putting on on September 28th and 29th. And I have a 15% discount code for you guys. Um, I'll have the link below. It's absolutely awesome. I can't wait to go. And as we get a little closer, I'll talk a little more about that. But um, let's dive right into this one trick that has completely helped me and it continues to help me uh, throughout my cinematography and filmmaking career. So what is this trick? Watch movies. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Watch Netflix, watch Hulu, watch Amazon, watch these amazing cinematographers, directors, filmmakers in general watch their amazing work. So I say this because sometimes we forget to continue to learn and explore from these amazing cinematographers that are much better than us. So for an example, go and watch Hell Caesar from Roger Deakins. Uh, watch how he moves the camera. You're not going to watch it so much to enjoy the film, but you're going to watch it and study the film. Press play, go back rewind watch clips you don't need to watch the whole movie so after you watch hell caesar and watch some scenes there go over to netflix and watch stranger things some scenes there and go see how tim ives the cinematographer how and why he moved the camera and you know study his movements or not movements composition lighting um ask the question how did he do that um how could I do that? You're already on Netflix, so you might as well go over to Luther. Um, the cinematographer was uh, John Conroy, and go see how and why he did the things he did. I absolutely love his cinematography. Um, as you know, if you follow me or see my work, I'm not a big person on unnecessary movement. Um, we've had a lot of cinematographers, younger cinematographers that have just grown up with gimbals and so they just move the camera so much and it's really unnecessary. Well in Luther in season one um, you can really see how just beautiful composition and beautiful lighting can tell uh, an amazing story. And kind of speaking of that traditional composition style um, cinematography, I recently rewatched Brooklyn because I'm a big fan of the cinematographer uh, Yves Belanger. I think that's how you say his name. And he did Brooklyn. I absolutely loved the cinematography. It was just so classic. And I found myself, you know, pausing and rewatching scenes. And I loved his, uh, his composition of things. And then. He's done the, the newest um, HBO series, Sharp Objects. He did Wild. He did um, Dallas Buyers Club. He's just done a lot of amazing, amazing films. And I like to study that. So my one tip that I really recommend is study films. Go watch films. Watch them, rewatch them. You know, pause, rewind, study the scenes, ask the questions that make up good cinematography. So, um... I appreciate everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more episodes. Follow me on Instagram. Feel free to ask me any questions there and uh, appreciate everything. Thanks, guys. Bye.